Warning, this contains strong language like scenes of violence and gore. Seems familiar. Nintendo Capcom. Oh boy, I know what this is. James has to conquer his fears on Halloween night. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a week before Halloween. Yes. Anyway, this is, if you can see the familiarity, a zombie getting shot in the head. That's how you kill these fuckers. It's Resident Evil for the GameCube! And it's not one of his favorite games. Yeah, I, maybe I should explain what this is about. Okay. Right, mountain climb, what? This is basically normal easy mode in All terms right, of sure. difficulty. Alright, I, I think, yeah, I, I better explain what this story is about. Uh, when did this game come out? The remake, not this the original. Alpha team is uh, the remake came out, well, I would Jackson say City. roughly 10 years ago. So about 2003, 2004? I think 2003. Disappeared. I can't remember at my exact age because I'm not really good with numbers and I can't be bothered looking up, but I bought this uh, game. It, it was 2002. 2002. We were close. So I was probably in my early early to late teens when this game came out. Um, I wasn't really familiar with the Resident Evil series. Well, I knew of it. I just never really played it. So this was one of the first games that I ever played. I bought it, I think, a summer of that year. And I traded it in the next day. I, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that because, you know, in my defense, I was, you know, I was a teenager, and I, I'm not very good with horror games. I just this was one of not my... a particular fan of horror in general. I mean, for just for clarification, my favorite horror movie of all time is Bram Stoker's Dracula. We continued our search. Whiskey. For the so. Yeah, there is one particular moment with this game that always sticks out with me. It, I think I was playing as uh, Cl Claire, try again. Um, Jill, sorry. Where you play as Jill? It, like you run through this corridor. It's like an L, inverted L-shaped corridor. So you run through it, you go down. But on the way back, rather than cut into the next frame, it would stick. It would. St it stayed on there for a couple of seconds. I think, oh, is, is the game broken? And then this chilling music plays in. She's walking backwards, and she's being followed by a zombie. That oh, that always sticks out with me. Well, it's kind of funny because if you if you're kind of squeamish like he is, we're gonna be six first. Okay, it, it's not a case of squeamish, but it's just like, unfortunately for Joe here, he's about to get. It's kind of like all right, all right, here's the thing. I want to see if anybody's familiar with this. Like, like say during the day you go through a zombie marathon and it's like, oh, you know, you watch through it and you go, ah, this looks like shit, whatever. But it's when you go to sleep at night, it, that's when it sticks with you, you know. All right, so that was and you know, here's some more things you can laugh at. The, I think the year 2000 when House Dead 2 came out, that kept me at the night as well, if you could believe that. I was young, leave me alone. But these days I made House of the Dead 2 my bitch, so... I. And this is actually one of my favourite remakes, and still is one of my favourite remakes of all time, because... Look at the graphics! And to be so fair, advanced. Like, this is the game I always bring up when people put out the argument saying that, um, you know, Capcom can't be on Nintendo because Nintendo's all kiddie. They can't do mature shit. And I bring no, this Ninten game up. because Nintendo worked with Capcom. In fact, they made it. It was part of. It was their first exclusive deal before the deal with Sega. It was uh, they were, they got the rights to Resident Evil main titles, which is the reason why the Resident Evil Zero came onto this platform. Well, hopefully, later um, on, Resident Evil Four. Hopefully, Lightning will strike twice yet again. Hopefully, in the future. I. In, in other words, Nintendo outright buys Capcom and makes them into a second party. Hopefully. Which I hope. So, we return to the survival horror. You may have noticed one of, our, one of our members is not here. Do you want the official or the unofficial reason? Uh, well, the unofficial tell you what, reason. No, no, tell you what, I'll, I'll fill in. Hang on. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Kari. Hi. <laughs> no. Is everyone I hate right? everything. Uh, there we go. So oh, Kari is technically with us. There we go. Yeah, she's with us. So Kari, somewhere. what do you think of um, Resident Evil? No. no. True. Anyway, <laughs> this is the other. This is the canon story of the uh, Resident Evil. All right. Unfortunately, uh, Capcom ha made Re Chris Redfield the main character of the franchise. Chris. So if anything, anything, anything Redfield for some reason, it gets pri main attention. Anyone who's not Redfield, they get the shaft, basically. And the other thing that stuck out with this remake is a very disturbing scene involving uh, Lisa Trevor, who is an exclusive to this game. 
Yeah. When you find like oh. when she picks up like the skull of her mother and then she does that that seems I still see that scene in my nightmares sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Although to be fair, later. I did kind of conquer my fears because I did watch the Super Gaming Brothers LP of this game a couple of times, so I managed I can I can at least sit and watch it. This is one of the first games I bought for the GameCube. I, I know because I've, I I watched the freaking previous. I loved the. I was actually getting used to Resident Evil. I wanted this game. Although to be fair, and these, that is what we call a recreation of a fucking classic moment. I still say that my favorite zombie franchise is the House of the Dead. I love that series. Which is kind of interesting because this since this since this game was made, anything anything that oh, I was about to say. The, anything for Resident Evil 1, this has been brought up. Like, I would love so, it if Sega remade the original House of the Dead. Because they, uh, they ported, you know, 2 and 3 and they made Overkill and 4 to other consoles, mm. but the original has just been left in the dust. You know, I would love to see, like, an HD, like, revamped version of the original game, you know? Wesker? Yeah. Um, as I mentioned, when we when we did Jill's version, she was the easy. She was technically the easy version. This one, Jill was the normal version. This is now the hard version. So here, here, here's the thing about Chris. He gets better health, but there's a drawback. Oh, yeah? You probably may have saw back there. He only has six inventory slots. Do we meet Lisa Trevor in this playthrough? Yes, we oh, do. Boy. In fact, the Lisa Trevor is the one is now one of the bosses. I so. kind of got over my fear of her for the Umbrella Chronicles. Just killing her as a Wesker was a lot of fun. Is it? Which is technically what happens afterwards. But as we, as you may have noticed. We have to go down through there at some point. That was her, wasn't Not it? That is her. She is on the and other I side of that. And I just felt a twinge go up my spine. Don't worry, James. I'll be here to give you a helping hand. Thank you, Culture Club. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, anyway. like, I mean, Lisa Trevor is probably the most disgusting thing they've ever made in this series. Although, again, I never really played 4 or 6, so maybe it gets worse. I don't know. I think believe this is what they actually originally intended for Resident Evil. You mean kind of like they... how with some parts of episode 4 that were cut and then they put it back in in the special edition? Yeah. Which we kind of regret them being in the special edition. Oh, yep. 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 Which game was it? Episode 4? Star Wars. Oh, oh right, yeah. The, all the fucking That's right with George Lucas cuts. my computers. You know, I'm amazing at that. Yeah, your computers are good, all right, but they fucking lack the fucking soul the fucking original films have. I mean, like for me, just I kind of like games look a bit cheesy now and then, you know. So the map here is a new function here. So here's a couple of things: red means you haven't got all the items in the room. Right. Green means you've got every item in the room. And we're going to be going through something. They've actually changed a lot of the dynamics of Resident Evil, might I add. So it's not just it. T it looks familiar. It's just a, it's a new game, All sort right. of, and it's a lot harder. Zombies are a, are a bitch to oh, kill. Oh no! This is that time. scene coming up that I'm thinking of? Yes, oh. James. Do I need do I need to hold your hand? Off. I kind of. You just it. shut your whore mouth, okay? To um, to to make the game a little easier on yourself, they introduce defense items, and here it comes. Backwards. There it is. Don't worry, James. Shut your whore I'm, mouth. It's a, it's an e don't worry, it's a zombie, but it, it, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can see that. I didn't think it was the postman. What? Yeah, you can stab him in the head. Sure, it's that's how defense items work. Uh, Chris get they both Chris and Jill get ornate daggers, but uh, Chris gets gr gets little little grenades, whilst Jill gets a freaking stun gun. You just lock him in there. Yes, and there's a reason why I'm doing this. It's because I'm killing him. Ah, uh, where is he? He's actually you have to you have to draw him out. You saw like back there in the corridor. When you do I don't see him. He's coming. Oh, I can assure you, James. He is a he is a Oh I think come. I see him now. There he is. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I we're not gonna be coming we're gonna we're not gonna be using this room often. We're actually gonna go back and forth through it. It's just illustrating what you're not what you don't kinda do. Okay. See, in the in the original zombie killing would be not so bad, except for the bastard thing Capcom did to make the game a little more lively for veterans. I'll be explaining that in the ne in the um, next part. And by the way, there's no more comical moments when you open the door. When you open the door now, Cerebus will now jump into yeah, attack. Yeah, I, I do know that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that, it's no longer comical moments, it was meant to be scary, which is what this game really is. So, it's, so, it's just, so the two of us will be doing this one. Oh, don't forget Kari. Kari, what do you think so far? No. Eh, true. So, for the three of us, laters. Bye.